Hello, Virgo. How are you guys doing? Virgo, 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 a Virgo, a Virgo, a Virgo, a I hope you guys are having a wonderful week so far, Virgo. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. This is going to be another general reading to see who or what is coming towards you in love. Keep in mind that the situation here could be vice versa. If you are cross watching for a Virgo, it could be completely roles reverse. Okay, it's a general reading. Um, just take what resonates, leave the motherfucker rash, all right? It's not supposed to fit you to the T, but shit, for some of us, it does, all right? So here we go, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what is coming towards you in love. Angels, please tap me into the higher selves of Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages for Virgo in love. One more shuffle. All right, messages for Virgo in love. What is coming towards Virgo in love? What is coming towards Virgo in love? What is coming towards Virgo in love? Virgo in love. Virgo. What is coming towards Virgo in love? Virgo. Very soon. Okay, what is coming towards Virgo in love? What do I need to see spirit for Virgo? What do I need to see for Virgo in love? Virgo. All right. Virgo, here we go. So it says very soon, all right? Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. You have flirt. You also have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And then you also have stay optimistic about your love life, okay? That's for you single-ass Virgos out there. And I aren't dealing with anyone, okay? Just stay optimistic about your love life. I know that's hard to do, right? Easier said than done. <laughs> and we have keep an open mind, okay? So your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. All right? Because I know Virgo likes to pick apart people sometimes. Like, you know, this don't match. But this don't make sense. But this don't make sense. I need you to be like this. Da -da -da -da. Spirit is saying, keep an open mind. Here we go. What is coming towards the Virgo Collective in love? Well, let me not even um, speak too fast. Let's see what the hell is going on here first. <laughs> what is coming towards Virgo in love, please? And thank you so much, Virgo. I see you guys are really fucking with me. Um, the views are going up, way up. So I really appreciate that, my loves. All right, so Virgo, you could be dealing with a cancer, but this is the overall general energy of the reading. So obviously, um, if this is not your energy, um, there's love here, right? There's someone that is in their feelings about you, or you may have feelings for this person, but you're trying to figure out, like, is it love that I'm feeling? What, what, what is it? But you know you care about this person. I feel like someone may be trying to understand their feelings. All right. Give me a Celtic cross for Virgo in love, please. What do I need to see about this situation for Virgo in love, spirit? Give me 10 cards at the top of the deck for Virgo and love. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Picking up on water energy so far. Give me a Celtic cross for Virgo and love. Tell me when to stop. Celtic cross for Virgo and love. Tell me when to stop. All right. Here we go, Virgo. Oh, oh. Woo! Virgo, is this your energy? Come on now, Virgo. Didn't I make a video for you guys like two, three weeks ago? I was like, take the cup. Take the motherfucking cup, okay? But it looks like somebody is in this energy, okay? Someone is offering the other person some love, okay? Someone wants to even get to know you possibly. Yeah, like I said, it could be reversed, but someone is in this energy. They could be ignoring the other person. Maybe you're ignoring someone's love offer. Um, let's see what the freak is going on, Virgo. Crossing you is the magician. Ooh. So it could be connected to another Virgo, possibly a Gemini. But it looks like someone's really trying to manifest... Um, something with you virgo somebody really has their eye on you okay and possibly someone could know on an intuitive level that okay this person might be the right one for me but it's like i don't know someone's in a very stubborn energy the past looks like the ten of pentacles okay so for some of you um you know this could be someone that you were in a relationship with before and that could definitely explain why you don't want their fucking cup that's for some of you for others of you perhaps you just got out of a um a long-term relationship not too long ago maybe you were married um so maybe you want to take a little break you're not ready yet okay that's understandable 
the near future is the queen of pentacles the knight of pen okay so you could definitely be dealing with another earth sign taurus virgo capricorn so it looks like things are not moving with you in this person virgo because deep down somebody just um has a lot of illusions somebody is kind of overthinking things is what i'm really picking up so things are unable to move forward virgo is this you or them because somebody sees themselves as being very um, guarded and blocked off. <laughs> Virgo! <laughs> Virgo said, I ain't going. So, who, I mean, whoever this is, new or old, I'm really picking up new for the majority of you. Because the magician kind of comes out like someone could be new. Someone you manifested. A love that you manifested, okay? But now that they're here, you're like, I don't know about all that. I'm kind of feeling, you know, you still have your guard up. For some of you, like I said, could be an ex trying to be with you again. Now they may feel like they're ready and shit. I mean, but the external influences is a nine of cups. It makes me feel like, obviously, you both know you're each other's nine of cups. I mean, you both know that, <laughs> you know, this is my wish fulfilled. That's what I'm seeing. Like, I feel like someone that you manifested, a new person, a new love into your life, the person is here, but it's like someone is just like not taking the cup. The hopes and the fears is a three of pentacles in reverse. And the outcome of the situation, okay, well, I like to see that. The four of pentacles in reverse is the outcome. Meaning, um, you know, someone is going to um, get over themselves and not be so stubborn and perhaps take a leap of faith. Because spirit is saying that someone needs to take a leap of faith here, take a risk and go for it. Go for it, child. For, all the, for others of you, this could be a situation to where... Um, I don't know. It's like there's somebody around you and, and like, I would say if you're like the masculine, if you're a guy watching this, you may know that you need to kind of step it up for whoever this lady is or this person, the feminine. Okay. I'm not saying that it's man and woman. It could be same sex as well, but if someone knows that they need to kind of put in more effort. You know, this relationship is what you make of it. This connection is what you make of it. And I kind of feel like someone is not really making the most of it, or they're just not really putting in the effort. That's what I'm seeing here. Because you have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse in the near future. So for some of you, like I said, you just got out of a long-term relationship. You may not be ready. And all this person is here. Some of you, like I said, this is an ex trying to come back into your life and all this other shit. So let's do a little clarification. How about that? But I keep seeing a magician. So we don't want a Sagittarius um, as well. But what I'm really seeing here, Virgo, is this is someone who really wants you. This is someone who really wants you. And that's why Spirit is saying make the effort because this is the type of love in a situation that you manifested. But now that it's here, it's like you're not going towards it. For some of you, you may have trust issues. Tell me about the magician, please. What is Virgo um, declining here? What is Virgo declining? Tell me about the Four of Cups. What is Virgo ignoring or declining when it comes to love? What is Virgo ignoring or declining when it comes to love? Why is the Four of Cups here? The same card. Could be an earth sign. Death could be a Scorpio. Page of Swords in reverse. Ugh, that's what I'm seeing. I feel like Virgo, someone's trying to offer you love or you're trying to offer someone love. And they're just not going for it. This is someone who um, you may already connect it with already. Okay, but someone just needs to let their guard down. That's what it looks like. Someone is highly suspicious and paranoid of the other person because it's just like, okay, well, who the hell sent you? You know, where the fuck you came from? You know, someone is just really scared because it's like, okay, you come into my life being, you know, all perfect and everything that I'm looking for. Like, someone feels like it's a trap. Like, it's a fucking trap. It must be a fucking trap. <laughs> but deep down, I'm seeing that whatever fear someone has, it's really um, just illusions. It's all in your head. Someone's feeling very confused by their feelings for the other person. Tell me about the Seven of Cups, please. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Two of Pentacles, like what do I do? Could be in regards to an Aries. I feel like someone really wants to be with you, Virgo. Someone's really pushing for it. Could be a Cancer, like I said. But it's like, um, you know, cancer showing up. This is what we've seen in the beginning of the reading. But someone may just have like a lot of irrational fears, feeling like they're going to just, you know, um, get taken advantage of and be hurt. Someone's very paranoid. 
But I feel like at the end of the day, there's um, a very good chance for happiness between you and this person. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles in the near future. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles in the near future. Yeah, somebody may not really be looking for a relationship because they just got out of one. And someone may not really want drama in their life. See, that's what I'm seeing. Someone may have recently got out of a relationship. And they're kind of in this energy of just wanting to focus on themselves, self-care, self-love. Not ready yet. So if you're a Virgo cross-watcher, this Virgo does have feelings for you. But I feel like at the same time, they're just very stubborn and paranoid about giving their heart away and getting into something else. And for some of them, they may have just recently got out of a relationship, okay? That was very painful for them. So it's kind of like they could just be having an issue with really trusting their feelings is what I'm picking up. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles as the outcome of this situation for Virgo in love. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles in the reverse as the outcome. The Ace of Swords. The high priestess it looks like someone's gonna listen to their intuition and kind of just go for it. You have the three of cups as well. This could be, like I said, somebody that wants to date you, but someone needs to let their guard down. That's what I'm seeing. Someone just doesn't want to end up like this again. That's what it looks like. Some of you, this is your partner, um, Virgo. I do feel like you may already, for some of you, could be in a relationship. Or your person could be in a relationship that's just not going anywhere, okay? Could be that for some of you as well. And they know that they need to leave the situation. Because it's just, um, there, is, there is absolutely no growth in the relationship. It's not growing them. I feel like whoever this is that may still be involved has already outgrown the relationship. So now they're kind of just settling in an unhappy, miserable situation, okay? And if you're on the receiving end of this, um, I do feel like eventually they will listen to their intuition and make a change here because I do see the Ace of Swords, okay? That's what it looks like. Someone just needs to break away from some of you, if that is your story, someone needs to break away from some kind of toxic relationship, something that's just not working, okay? There's something that's just not working. All right, let me pull one of these cards for you, Virgo. But bottom line, if this is your situation, Virgo, to where there's a person in your life, you may feel like they're too good to be true. Um, they're not too good to be true, okay, Virgo? They're not. Spirit is telling that you should just take a chance and you need to get out of this energy because this is what you wanted. Now they're here. All right, messages for Virgo and love. What do I need to see about this situation? Messages for Virgo and love. What do I need to see about this situation for Virgo? What do I need to see about the situation for Virgo? What do I need to see about the situation for Virgo? Observer. You have observer. Okay? So I kind of just feel like um, if you're in that third party situation, okay, you're just like, okay, well, I'm just going to have to sit back, all right, and wait for Virgo. If you do love them, you that's what you may just end up doing. For others of you with observer, I just kind of feel like, um, just give this person a chance, but obviously keep their, keep your eyes on this person. Spirit is telling you that it's time to come to the edge. Okay. This is the fool as well. Like you just need to go ahead and do it. No place like home, no place like home kind of tells me that someone could definitely be settling. Okay. In a situation that's just not it. Cause there's like two scenarios that I'm picking up on. Don't ignore your intuition. Um, Virgo, if this is your partner, you may feel like they have you in some kind of third party situation. Do not ignore your intuition about them. Okay. Period. If that is your situation. So that's what I'm seeing for you, Virgo. Thank you so much for tuning in my loves. I will see you guys next time.